Hi, Chris. I'm Logan. Um, how can I become an astronaut? Um, it's really hard, but um, I really, really want to be an astronaut. So, how can I be an astronaut? Um, and I really like spaceships, and I wish I could ride one. So, I love you, but... And, and you can tell me, but it's okay. What? Nothing. Are you finished? I want to go post him a letter. You want to go write him a letter? Okay. Do you want to say a goodbye? Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay, have a peaceful day. Have a peaceful day. Bye-bye. Logan. Hello, it's uh, Commander Chris Hadfield. Thank you very much for making the video for me. I think it was you and your mom made that video. It was really nice to listen to what you were thinking and what you were dreaming about being. And what I heard you say, Logan, was that you would love to be an astronaut. And you recognize that it's really, really hard, but you really want to be a spaceship driver. And I've been a spaceship driver. It is an amazing experience to be able to to fly a spaceship through space to be the person inside that makes the spaceship work it it's really difficult you have to study and learn and practice but then you get to do something that is right on the edge of incredible flying a spaceship and leaving the earth and you asked how I think number one you've already done Logan and that is you've decided what you're dreaming about, what you'd like to do in life, what you really want to do with yourself. But now the big thing is how to turn yourself into an astronaut. How can you take what you have and who you are and make yourself into somebody who people are going to trust to fly a spaceship, to operate something that complicated. So here's what I think you need to do. Number one, you need to take care of your body because they're not going to trust you to fly a spaceship if you let your body get all uh, out of shape. So think about what you eat and, and exercise a little. Take the stairs and carry your bag and, and exercise your body. Number two is you have to know things. So, so study and learn and read books and don't just ask questions but listen to the answer and try and understand them. And number three is learn how to make decisions and stick with them. So decide things for yourself and then stick with those decisions. Practice, you know, this week I'm going to read 20 pages of a book every day, or this week I'm going to do 10 push-ups every day, and then do it and practice it, because learning how to make a decision and stick with it is a big part of being an astronaut. And if you do those three things, Logan, if you keep your body in shape, if you study and learn, and if you practice getting good at decisions, then someday when somebody says, who'd like to be an astronaut, you'll be able to stick your hand up really, really high. And, uh, and maybe you'll even have a chance someday to fly a spaceship. So thank you very much for the message that you sent me. I really liked it. Um, I wish you really good luck in all those things that you're doing. And uh, until I see you in person, goodbye. And as you say, have a peaceful day.